Okay, well, I guess it's more or less complete. I'm afraid that this is one of those cases where I'm probably too ambitious because I think I sort of ruined it uh, right at the last minute. Everything is more or less fine until I reach the point of trying to paint her eye and then everything goes wrong. Basically her eye doesn't really work, she so looks really, really blank. I think that's a really big problem here. But uh, overall she is fine. Compared to the photos, for some reason her head is much bigger than the rest of the body. In a rare case where the picture actually looks better than in real life. In real life, for some reason her head looks even smaller. Or it could be the black background, because uh, on the camera the background is actually brighter, while in here the background is very dark. But yeah, overall, it's a good job I guess. I think I managed to do a reasonable job. One of the biggest problems with dressing kit and painting is that um, paints are chipping off the moment I finish it. In the case, um, some of the paint uh, on the back of the hair is actually rubbing against the shoulder and it starts to rub off, which I'll have to repair later on. And beside, oh, just to, sh to show you what do I mean by the eye, uh, if it's willing to focus, if it's not, that's one way to do it. As you can see, her eyes is extremely blank. Not sure whether it's actually the problem of a mold or if it's um, my painting skill. I did try to paint her eye to be more. Hello, Brooke. To be more uh, orange, but I end up getting scared and actually decided to go with brown and a bit of yellow. Maybe the orange will add, the brighter orange will actually make it work uh, better to be given a bit more sparkle. But yeah, all of the joints are still here. Pretty good. Uh, one of the problems I did find was that the her top half of the body is extremely heavy, mainly the hair, which means that um, she likes to tilt backward a lot. I will have to uh, stiffen the joint, since the joint is actually just a ball joint like this one anyway. I can simply take it out and actually thicken it. But yeah, I seem to say that her head is designed not to actually look that much forward or upward anyway. So, or is simply designed so that she actually lean backward most of the time. Maybe it's intentional, maybe it's not. Not really know. But because of the uh, of the board of the joints there, she just got a reasonable range of up and down movement, left and right, and a bit of tilt as well, which is quite good. And yeah, there is a joint in the in the leg, but uh, the skirt mostly block it, so she can move her leg forward and backward a little bit enough to actually uh, balance. She so can actually more or less balance pretty well on her own, but uh, really on. Uneven, yeah, unstable surface like this, I'm not there to actually put her uh, straight on the uh, yeah on the ground. Not to mention, uh, yeah, you know, because overall she's tall as well. So that's about it for just a bare body, bare, some way. What comes next are all of this. These are the armors. They're tied together with string. Uh, to be mounted on. There's also the shoulder armor. Two set of those with a piece of cloth. And the body armor. And the helmet. There's one more thing that's supposed to be in this set, but I haven't finished it, and that is the two katana. They're really, really long. They need silver paint, and I don't have any. If anyone's interested, I'll post some photos somewhere. You know where. But yeah, let's put her uh, armor on. Back in a bit. Okay, and this is her fully armed with a two piece of cloth to cover her um, cover her arm. And I have to say, the armor does look pretty good once you put them all on. But uh, I can tell you right now that 
the armor also makes her head unmovable. So you can only look forward now at this angle, no matter what you do. Because uh, there's so much thing going underneath uh, her, her hair uh, on the front and on the back. Everything got clamped together and it's not going to move. But she looks pretty good. And she will probably look better if she actually standing up straight and if she got her two uh, katana in her hand, one on each one on each hand. But yeah, because um, the shoulder armor are actually hold together by string, they can move around, which means that if she's holding her katana, she can actually hold them in all sorts of angle. And if I find a proper stand for her, so you can also pose her leg a little bit because all of this armor are actually on string as well. Originally, they're designed to actually hold in uh, with with a metal rod, but uh, those are too difficult to do, and there were hardly any room for those anyway. So I decided to actually tie them up with strings instead, with a matching color to the uh, all the fake string over, her. and it looks pretty good. These are the extra string. Uh, they According to the instruction, I'm supposed to leave uh, two long ones to, to hang on the back of the um, of the hand. But um, yeah, they're not actually very straight. I need to wait until they actually straighten out uh, naturally. But yes, anyway, she's pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with uh, how, what I managed to do here. And if anything I hope that I can actually do something similar again probably not as complicated as this but um, this definitely proves to me that I can actually build a posable uh, resin kit and this one being the first one is not as good as the others but yeah pretty satisfying so that's basically it for me um, join me on the next video